Assalamu alaikum. Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making this beautiful, delicious Persian flatbread called Barbari bread. So I've got about three cups of all-purpose flour. That's about uh, 250 grams. And I added one teaspoon of yeast and one and a half teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of sugar. And for the liquid, I had ready about one and a half cups of water. So you may use between one and a quarter to one and a half cups, depending on the density of the flour. So you want to add little at a time while you mix until you get the consistency that you're looking for. And basically the consistency is a very light and sticky dough that we are looking for. And you can also add the oil in the beginning or later like how I did I prefer to use it later so I used about two tablespoons of olive oil so it's easy for me to hold the dough all right and at this point you can uh, continue kneading on the uh, bowl or you can move to a flour surface all right so now we're just going to knead this for about 10 minutes until you get a nice, light and very firm dough, yet still very sticky. All right. Okay, so my dough is ready, as you can see. And I'm just going to place it in a bowl. And you want to make sure that you do have some oil in the bowl to allow the dough to rise easily without sticking on the side of the bowl. Okay. Then we're just going to cover it and let it sit for about an hour or so or until the dough doubles in volume. All right, so mine took about an hour and now we are ready. As you can see, it's very sticky. We're ready to form in a shape. Now I divided this into two parts. It doesn't have to be equal. I'm just going to form a ball. And uh, I got a little bit of uh, flour on the surface. And uh, this step, you can stretch it. You don't have to roll it. Uh, and you want to make it like uh, a very long uh, oval kind shape of a bread. So I'm going to roll it, but you really don't have to. And then I just decided to stretch it, which is much easier. Just like that. And then I'm going to place it in a tray. All right. So I've got a parchment paper on the tray and I just placed the bread over there. Then I did the second one. And then we're just going to cover it and let it sit for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to make the glaze. And I've used one and a half teaspoons of all-purpose flour plus half a cup of water. You can always add more if you want your glaze to be a little bit thinner although I did not find much difference. So we're just gonna stir it quickly to make sure there are no lumps. And uh, I've cooked this on medium heat. It will take about three to five minutes until you get a nice thick paste like this. That's also shiny. So the paste is ready. You can leave it in the same pot or you can transfer it in a bowl to make sure that it cools quicker before we apply it onto the bread. All right. So now the bread is ready. It's been about 30 minutes and um, you're just letting it rest really. You're not uh, rising it again. Then we're just going to apply the glaze. And the glaze really helps to get this bread nice and uh, crispy and also gives that beautiful shine. Okay. So now we're going to make those famous lines that makes this bread look extra beautiful. You can use your fingertips or you can use any tool that works for you. I normally use my fingertips, but I wear gloves, so I didn't feel like wearing gloves on that day. So I just wanted to. I use my spatula, as you can see. And uh, you want to have the the lines deeper so I decided to also use the fork 
so they're very very prominent once the bread is baked okay and you want to make sure also that the oven is ready at 400 degrees Fahrenheit that's about 200 degrees Celsius and this would bake for about 15 12 to 15 minutes so I've went ahead and uh, drizzled some sesame seed roasted sesame seeds and also some haba soda which is nigella seeds and this bread beautiful bread you can serve it with anything that you like or you can have it as a main meal or side dish i'm just gonna apply some oil a little bit it's really really crispy on the outside and very very soft on the inside so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support please do not forget to visit the description box so you can grab yourself those ingredients and take care i wish you a wonderful day